We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So make sure you guys have y'all's teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. You guys remember about a week or so ago was um, the one year anniversary of Prince um, passing away and leaving us. And we miss him every day, but we get to see him in these wonderful gifts. Um, so anyhow, they were initially supposed to release some new music on his one year anniversary of his death. And then all of a sudden, Prince's estate, they filed an injunction to stop any new music from being released. Um, they did not want anything put out there. A lot of people were really disappointed because they paid for the music in advance. Well, now it's coming out that the reason why they finally put a stop to the new music is because they are releasing a reality TV. TV show and they want to hold off on the music they want to basically promote the reality TV show and then allow the new music to come out so that way it's a win-win for both of them you know this whole situation is just insane um, according to reports they're saying that Prince's siblings are filming a reality TV show about their lives following his death um, and they also want to debut his new music on their show as well the show right now is still in the early stages and there's no timeline we now return to They're saying that this has been green lighted and it's a go. You know, so a few people that wanted to know my opinion on this whole situation just because, you know, I'm here in Minneapolis and I'm a Prince fan and um, I find that just disgusting, to be honest with you. I'm not here for it and I will not be watching the show. Uh, no ma'am, okay? First of all, Prince was one of the most private people you'd ever meet. Very private, kept to himself. The only time you really saw him, you know, out and about in Minnesota was usually near his home, you know, things like that. Just, you know, he was just more or less a homebody unless he was out on tour and, you know, doing what he loved. He would have never went for that. You know, he would have never went for doing a reality TV show. Had he wanted a reality TV show, he would have had one in the works before he died. You know, Prince was just strictly about the music. I think Prince would want his music to be released, you know, first and only as opposed to this whole reality TV show situation. And it's really sad that the family is not respecting his privacy and they're using his death and his legacy to come up. It's not okay. And it's very strange that this always happens with our icons. If you remember right after Whitney Houston passed away, all of a sudden Miss Whitney Houston's family had a reality TV show. And instead of allowing Bobby Christina to grieve her mother, and to go through the grieving and healing process, they literally threw her in front of a reality TV camera. And it was nothing but a disaster. I am Bobby Christina Brown. I'm 19 years old, and my mother just recently passed. I am definitely, I'll say, I'm in deep pain. I have my good and my bad days, but my family's behind me to you know, protect me. And this is me and my family's journey. You know, at the end of the day, you can love me or hate me, but I'm still human and then we also cannot forget the jacksons did the same damn thing when michael jackson passed all of a sudden his entire family had a reality tv show it only lasted one season and nobody gave a shit about it but it was just you know really crazy because once again michael jackson was a very private person thinking about doing a documentary shining a light on the truth about oh. my uncle about and michael about michael okay we are a family, a loving family, but no one sees that, you know? They only see headlines. If they say something about you, or if they say something about Uncle Michael, I get defensive about the legacy, but I'm scared I might do more damage than good by doing this. You know, I'm a young man, you know? And um, seriously, Prince, I couldn't be any more proud of you, man. Um, honor roll through your high school, and you're a solid rock for the entire family. Thank you. I mean this, and, and I think it's important that everyone sees that is how proud I am. So I don't mind that being here <laughs> or that camera being here because it needs to be trumpeted. You know, so I just don't think this is a good look and people just need to stop. These family members need to realize we are fans of your sibling. We're not fans of you. We don't know you guys like that. Well, we know some of the Jacksons, but we don't know Prince's family like that. I'm not saying that they're irrelevant, but nobody's checking for his siblings. We want Prince and being that we can't have Prince, we don't want y'all in his place. 
I'm gonna need them to go ahead and manage his estate and get their asses off reality TV and release some new damn Prince music. Don't nobody got time to watch y'all on TV. I mean, what do y'all have to say? We supposed to just sit here and watch y'all mourn? Like, I don't even understand, like, who are they that we need to sit and watch them on television? I just find the whole situation just comical. You know, it was the same thing with Whitney Houston. I mean, I caught a few episodes of the of their show, but all I could do was shake my head like, are these people for real? Like, she hadn't even been in the ground, you know, a few months and you guys have a show and, you know, trying to make all this fake-ass conflict. It was just disgusting. So I'm not excited about this at all because, as we all know, Prince was extremely private and I, I just don't find it okay. I think they just need to go ahead and manage his estate. Nobody is checking for Prince's sister with the bright-colored hair. Girl, bye. You just look right in here, uh -huh. look in there, and you see that you're doing too much. I don't even know why she thought this was going to be a good idea. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. You know, how do you feel about, you know, fans thinking they're about to get some new Prince music and then at the last minute, you know, it gets snatched up from us. And then to find out that the reason why it was snatched from the fans is because his siblings are planning a reality TV show and they want to use his music on the show. Will you guys be tuning into the reality TV show? Will you not be tuning in? And how do you feel about family members of deceased icons basically trying to come up on reality TV after they passed, knowing that their, you know, that their super famous relative was private and wouldn't have went for this had they been alive? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Prince's family putting together a reality TV show based upon them mourning his death. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.